every joy has a path that leads to it. And though some things may never meet, of those that do, I give account. <laughs> what abided within her mind? I question. The distance between us, once the journey of many miles, now half the length of her arms. <laughs> sure. The mere fact of our present situation was the result of our deliberate intentions. But I knew even if she dangled from a thread and with nothing to save her below, she'd still let go. <laughs> to me, she knew she could go in any direction, for I did not preclude her liberties, but I saw where the journey I dared to follow would end, in spite of encumbrances that secreted the part along the way. <laughs> I felt the warmth of the sun receding in the distance between us, and I lifted my eyes from the cool skirt of her blouse so that I could reach them of her breast. But in that moment, an unexpected impulse hung my eyes upon her lips and did I meet them flush with a kiss. She withdrew after the fact, pretentiously startled by my attack, <laughs> and altered her gaze to overtake the withdrawing sunlight. I could only meet those clouds painted by the glory of dusk as the light left her stage. <laughs> then I confronted those two sparkling timid gems that stole glances at me many times while we were yet unacquainted hoping that I would surely grasp the mirror of her thoughts and discern that they were of a like mind <laughs> there was no reply <laughs> she but gave breath to his sigh as her heart formed a pedestal with her envious peer up until that moment quiet volcanoes that stood upon her breast to aid her abiding love into my enveloping home.